cold out there, alright? Alright, hey, what's up, dudes? Welcome back. Another video today. Yeah, that's right. Got a little something for you guys. Yeah, I know. I know I did the, um, the room change again. I, I, I can't help it, man. I, like, I wanna, I wanna reorient stuff sometimes. Don't judge me. Alright, just for good measure, I'm gonna stop the, the moving camera thing. I still get complaints today. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm trying to figure out how to... It's all right. Good to see you guys. Hope you guys are all doing well. I know COVID's still a thing, and it sounds like they might be doing another lockdown soon, so we'll see how that works out. Good to have you guys here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a sweet little simple tutorial today all about audio visual, uh, visualizing the audio waveforms. Yeah. I got to take this coat off, dude. I got to take it off. So today, I'm going to show you guys a cool little video tutorial on how to uh, set up an audio visualizer for your streams, much like this. So here is kind of an example of what this kind of looks like right off the bat, and you can change it by a lot. So just letting you guys know, this is what we're kind of working with today, and we're going to put it on top of our stream, which is going to be really simple, really easy, and I'm going to show you exactly how to get it all set up today, and you can make it look a little bit different than how this looks right now. Now, this is based on my microphone, but you can have it set to any audio source you have on your computer. So just keep that in mind. You can set this to anything you want. All right, let's jump right on it. So this is an OBS plugin called Spectralizer. Now, what that's going to allow you to do is get yourself a nice little waveform like we just saw a second ago, but you're going to be able to put that inside of your stream. So this is super easy to use, and I'm going to walk you guys through it right now. All you got to do is come to the, uh, the top right of your screen and click on Go to Download. When you do that, you're going to go ahead and download it for uh, your Linux, your Mac, or your, your Windows. So I select the old Windows. Once you get it downloaded, uh, it's it's right here. It's a zip folder. So you need to go ahead and right click, extract all, hit enter, and you get yourself the, uh, the folder you can actually deal with here. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to hit uh, Windows, and you're going to go to my computer. You're going to go to the C. You're going to go to uh, Program Files. You're going to scroll down until you find OBS Studio. You're going to need to have this open over here. Now I'm going to open up the Spectralizer folder over here. And now that I have that on open, I'm going to shrink that down for you guys. And on the inside, you're going to have a bunch of other folders inside. So uh, inside a plugin, you're going to have the uh, OBS uh, plugins as well as data. And you can see we have the exact same folders here. Now you could just copy these over, but if you have plugins and stuff already installed, you just want to open this up and uh, you want to go ahead and open this one up and go into 64 and go into 64, copy these over, uh, do the same thing with the 32 bit. Uh, and then also finally go back into your uh, the data and go over here to data and then uh, inside of OBS plugins and open up the plugins and you're going to take the specializer folder and drag it on in. But you can see I already have it in here, so we're good to go. So now that you do that, you don't need these folders anymore because you already copied the folders over and all the files. So you're good to go, right? Now we're going to open up OBS. And when I open that up, we're going to get a blank canvas here. I deleted everything to make it super easy. So first things first, you need to come into the settings and you're going to need to select the audio that you want. now. You could do it this way, or you could also add individual sources inside of your uh, your source list. Uh, I'm just going to add some sources here. So my mic, I'm going to go ahead and hit chat mic. And for my desktop audio, I'm not going to select anything. So I'm going to hit apply. Hit OK. So now you can see we have our little uh, microphone down here. Now, just for, your, uh, for our own sake here, I'm going to go ahead and add myself a video capture device. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to be my camera. I select OK. And now we are good to go. So now I have my camera set up inside of OBS. Now, we're going to add a second thing. And you do see once you do have the plugin installed, you do have audio visualizer. But if you select it right now, and I select the uh, audio visualizer, I'll leave it titled that way. Uh, when I look at my audio sources, I, maybe I don't see the actual audio source that I want. Maybe I want it connected to my music and not my microphone. So I'm going to leave it as none for now and just hit OK. So you can see that we already have the, uh, the visualizer up here. Now, if I blow it up, you can kind of see that we have some dots down here, and that's to represent the audio waveforms. So I'm going to go shrink that back down by just coming up here to transform, reset, transform. We're going to leave it up there because it's going to change here in a sec. So now you need to go add the source for the music or whatever you want. Now, because I use a GoXLR, I have individual sliders and, and faders for my individual items here. So I see that we have a, a, our video cam. I, I don't need the audio for that. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this thing, hide, and I'll leave the microphone on. Now we're going to come over here and go to add, and we're going to go to add audio output capture. Now that's going to take a a source that's playing on our PC and allow me to capture it. So I'm going to hit OK. I have a little drop down menu. I'm going to select music because I, I, I specifically set my music to my GoXLR fader. I have a specific fader. I don't want to get too into details here, but just so you know, I'm selecting only what I have selected as my music. So I'm going to hit OK. And now we have a, uh, a little music audio capture. And for this, I'm actually going to retitle it to music. 
I'm gonna leave this titled audio visualizer. I'm gonna put my music down here because I don't really need it. Now that this is selected, I need to add some audio. So I'm gonna put on some headphones here. So we can actually start to start to hear things. I got some music over here from Epidemic Sound. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Epidemic Sound before, uh, it allows you to play music copyright free. You do pay 15 bucks a month, but the first month is free. So check it out. I'll put a link down below for you to get your free month trial. Check it out. It's worth. You can play all that music on Twitch, on, on Facebook, on, on, you know, whatever, man. We're YouTube, whatever you want. Uh, we're going to take some of that music right here. And it uh, looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a, I don't know, a cinematic track here. Oh, that's sounding good. That sounds good. All right. So now we come over here to our, uh, our audio visualizer. And now we're going to select that music. So I select that music. And now you can see we're already getting levels. Pretty cool, right? So next step is you actually have a lot of customization with this uh, this this thing here. I'm actually going to pause the track really quick. Uh, what you can do is you can go ahead and start to change a couple of these items down here. And uh, you got some gravity, you got some fall off, you got some detail. So what does all this stuff mean, right? All right off the bat, I do want to uh, change the color. And because I kind of got this blue and purple theme going on here, I'm actually going to select purple. So now we have a little purple bar here. If I just leave that music playing in the background, but I turn it down. You know what? Maybe we'll make it a little bit brighter. So let's go with uh, the bright purple. So now you guys can kind of see what's happening here. And now you can see we have a little a little bar, a little level here in the middle of my screen. So now if I select the uh, the bar width, that's going to uh, increase the width of my uh, my visualizer here. But the bars are looking kind of big to me. Uh, so maybe I want to change a little bit. We're going to change the height of this thing to maybe, I don't know, something like 300. And that's going to increase the uh, the amount of audio, the, the, like the waveforms, how far they rise up. But you also have a thing called bar spacing. That's going to take the individual bars and it's going to separate them with some, uh, some, some, you know, empty space in between, or it can set that to zero. And now they're all kind of linked up together, but we're going to set it to maybe let's go with five down here. You're going to see that we have another thing called stereo. And when I select stereo, and it's, it's actually going to start to uh, change it up a little bit. And you can see that it's starting to have audio on both sides rather than just the single side where it gets cut right down the middle. So if you have this set to stereo, you can actually uh, see more with the, uh, the audio levels as they play. And if I turn the music back up, you can see that the, 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 the levels are kind of rising up on the left side, on the left side here and uh, on the right side, it's getting a little bit dimmer. So it's, these are the, the lower bassier tones. <laughs> and then over here is the, uh, the, the, the smaller tones. Anyways, yeah, I think you understand how a visualizer works, but anyways, it's all to do with like Hertz and it doesn't matter. But let me turn this back down here as this thing's playing in the background and you have something over here called, uh, enable automatic scaling. So if I click on enable automatic scaling, now you're going to see these bars are going nuts and that's because you need to slide this bar down here. So you take this bar down as far as you want. And now the, the, the bars are really weak. I can increase it a little bit more, a little bit more. Maybe I want something a little crazy like that. That's looking pretty good. I'm actually going to change this to blue so you guys can see it even better. I'm going to go ahead and change it like that. All right, that looks good. Now you can actually kind of see what's going on here. And and don't be too concerned that the, uh, that you know, it gets cut off inside of this little thing. But um, even though it's getting cut off here, it's not actually getting cut off. It goes beyond the bounding box. So I'm liking how this is looking right now. And again, you can adjust the, uh, the scale size. So it'll never go past a certain limit that you kind of set for it. So... Now you know that you can kind of set it to an extreme amount here. And if again, if I take it back off of stereo, you only have to have it on one side. So maybe I want actually more waves in there. I'm going to go ahead and select the stereo again because I kind of like how stereo looks, but I'm going to shrink down the scaling a little bit. We're going to come back over here and you see another scale boost over here, and that's going to boost everything else to kind of make all the waveforms a little bit bigger. But so I'm going to leave the uh, the scale boost down. I'm going to leave this one at 20. But the next step I want to get to is down here. You can see we have a... Uh, Two different options. We have one that's stereo space. And if I start to increase this, you're going to start to see a line in between the levels. And that's to show you guys that, you know, you can you can separate the audio if you have any need to. But over here, you got the detail. And every time I hit this little arrow button, we get a little more. We get an extra bar every time I click this button. And I'm thinking 60 is going to be pretty good. That's looking good. So we have about 60 of these bars. I think I'm not I'm not going to go through here and count them. Next step, I want to maybe shrink these down a little bit. So I'm going to actually take down the uh, the pixel size. And maybe something like that's actually looking better. And I kind of like how they're more, they're more thin. So maybe I'll come back down here at the bottom. All right, there we go. 150. That's looking like a nice big bar of audio and I'm liking it. So I'm going to leave that right there. And uh, yeah, that's that, you know, th this could be it. Maybe that's all I really want. 
and you know that's it it's that simple to add this thing now you can do a little bit more than just that so up on the top here we also have a uh, a filter and these filters do a couple different things here so you have uh, the monster cat filter and when you select that and you start to adjust this uh filter strength you're going to see that the uh the the waveform is going to look a little more uniform and less sporadic and crazy so if you want to have like a a certain type of look to your waveform you can always kind of have it look like how it is on screen you know maybe that's something that you want that's looking pretty good so i'm gonna leave that down here so now i got my my visuals coming out of my microphone and i also got uh my 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 audio waveform over here of my actual microphone so if i ever wanted to pause the music but still have my microphone activated or stop talking and then the music keeps going, you know what I mean? So you just think about unique things that you can try with this to really make it your own. All right, that's epidemic sound, man. Good, they make a lot of good stuff. All right, so I'm liking how that's all looking, looking pretty good. And uh, maybe your streams look that much more unique and now you got some audio waveforms for you to choose from. So hope you enjoy, thanks for watching. Have a good one. That's it for me. I'm gonna go and I don't know, why I'm gonna go watch some Netflix. I, I don't know. It, it's kind of like my day off, but at the same time, I gotta sit here and edit this thing. So I'm probably already editing this thing. But by the, by the time you watch this, I'm, I'm, I'm probably on Netflix. I don't know. I restarted Breaking Bad. Uh, okay. I have a good one. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, if you guys would want to like and subscribe, that'd be great, dude. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that sub button because it'll help me make more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Bye.